List of chemical elements naming controversies. The currently accepted names and symbols of the chemical elements are determined by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, usually following recommendations by the recognized discoverers of each element. However the names of several elements have been the subject of controversies until IUPAC established an official name. In most cases the controversy was due to a priority dispute as to who first found conclusive evidence for the existence of an element, or as to what evidence was in fact conclusive. Vanadium was originally discovered by Andres Manuel del Rio in Mexico City in 1801. He discovered the element after being sent a sample of brown lead ore. Through experimentation, he found it to form salts with a wide variety of colors, so he named the element panchromium. He later renamed this substance erythronium, since most of the salts turned red when heated. The French chemist Hippolyte Victor Collet Descottels incorrectly declared that Del Rio's new element was only impure chromium. Del Rio thought himself to be mistaken and accepted the statement of the French chemist that was also backed by Del Rio's friend Alexander von Humboldt. In 1831, Sefström of Sweden rediscovered vanadium in a new oxide he found while working with some iron ores. He chose to call the element vanadin in Swedish after the Old Norse vanadis, another name for the Norse van regatis Freya, whose facets include connections to beauty and fertility, because of the many beautifully colored chemical compounds it produces. Later that same year Friedrich Wohler confirmed Del Rio's earlier work. Later, George William Featherston Haw one of the first U.S. geologists, suggested that the element should be named Ryanium after Del Rio, but this never happened. Charles Hatchett named element 41 Columbium in 1801, but after the publication of The Identity of Columbium with Tantalum by William Hyde Wollaston in 1802 the claims of discovery of Hatchett were refused. In 1846 Heinrich Rose discovered that tantalite contained an element similar to tantalum and named it niobium. IUPAC officially adopted niobium in 1950 after 100 years of controversy. This was a compromise of sorts, the IUPAC accepted tungsten instead of wolfram and niobium instead of columbium. Gadolinite, a mineral, consists of several compounds, yttria, erbia, and terbia. In 1878, Jean-Charles Gallus Sard de Marignac assumed that a terbia consisted of a new element he called a terbium. In 1907 Georges Urbain isolated element 70 and element 71 from a terbia. He called element 70 neoiterbium and called element 71 lutetium. At about the same time, Karl Auer von Welsbach also independently isolated these and proposed the names Aldebaranium, after the star Aldebaran for element 70, and Cassiopeiaum, after the constellation Cassiopeia, for element 71, but both proposals were rejected. Neoiterbium was eventually reverted to Aterbium and in 1949 the spelling of Lutetium was changed to Lutetium. And Gadolinium, were also discovered in Gadolinite and its components, but there was no controversy about their names. At the time of their discovery, there was an element naming controversy as to what the elements from 103 to 109 were to be called. At last, a committee of the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry resolved the dispute and adopted one name for each element. They also adopted a temporary systematic element name. IUPAC ratified the name Laurentium in honor of Ernest Lawrence during a meeting in Geneva, the name was preferred by the American Chemical Society. The Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna named element 104 Kurchatovium in honor of Igor Kurchatov, father of the Soviet atomic bomb. But the University of California, Berkeley, U.S., named element 104 Rutherfordium in honor of Ernest Rutherford. In 1997 a committee of IUPAC recommended that element 104 be named Rutherfordium. The Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, proposed naming element 105 Niels Bohrium after Niels Bohr, while the University of California, Berkeley suggested the name Hanium in honor of Otto Hahn. IUPAC recommended that element 105 be named Dubnium, after Dubna. The element was discovered almost simultaneously by two laboratories. In June 1974, 
a Soviet team led by G.N. Flyerov at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research at Dubna reported producing the isotope 259106, and in September 1974, an American research team led by Albert Giorso at the Lawrence Radiation Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley reported creating the isotope 263106. Because their work was independently confirmed first, the Americans suggested the name Seaborgium in honor of Glenn T. Seaborg, an American chemist. This name was extremely controversial because Seaborg was still alive. An international committee decided in 1992 that the Berkeley and Dubna laboratories should share credit for the discovery. An element naming controversy erupted and as a result IUPAC adopted Unilexium as a temporary, systematic element name. In 1994 a committee of IUPAC adopted a rule that no element can be named after a living person. This ruling was fiercely objected to by the American Chemical Society. Seaborg and Giorso pointed out that precedents had been set in the naming of elements 99 and 100 as Einsteinium and Fermium during the lives of Albert Einstein and Enrico Fermi, although these names were not publicly announced until after Einstein and Fermi's deaths. In 1997, as part of a compromise involving elements 104 to 108, the name Seaborgium for element 106 was recognized internationally. Some suggested the name Niels Borium, in honor of Niels Bohr. IUPAC adopted Unilseptium as a temporary systematic element name. In 1994 a committee of IUPAC recommended that element 107 be named Barium, also in honor of Niels Bohr but using his surname only. While this conforms to the names of other elements honoring individuals where only the surname is taken, it was opposed by many who were concerned that it could be confused with boron, which is called borium in some languages including Latin. Despite this, the name barium for element 107 was recognized internationally in 1997. IUPAC adopted Unilochtium as a temporary, systematic element name. In 1997 a committee of IUPAC recommended that element 108 be named Hassium, in honor of the German state of Hesse. This state includes the city of Darmstadt, which is home to the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research where several new elements were discovered or confirmed. The element name was accepted internationally. IUPAC adopted Unilenium as a temporary, systematic element name. While mitnerium was discussed in the naming controversy, it was the only proposal and thus never disputed. In 1997 a committee of IUPAC adopted the name mitnerium in honor of Lisa Meitner. Further elements were named without controversy, starting with elements 110 and 111, whose names were approved by IUPAC in 2003 and 2004 respectively. More elements followed in 2010, 2012, and 2016, completing the seventh row of the periodic table. 